it down and I quote it again and again. Who is the dummy that got him? We did a lot for the wins. Came in and drop on the team. Now we on top, top yeah. once again. Yeah. yeah. I had to tighten the plan. I got it right in the end. Now we on top, top once again. We did a lot for the wins. Came in and drop on the team. Now we on top, top once again. Yeah. I had to tighten the plan. I got it right in the end. Now we on ten, ten, ten. Well, it may be a bit soggy, but that certainly hasn't deterred this fan base. A great crowd on hand to battle the raindrops at Nissan Stadium in Nashville. Nothing like the fanfare of introductions to an NFL game, and that was in evidence a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it. This crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up between the Arizona Cardinals and the Tennessee Titans. Here's the kicker, Zane Gonzalez, ready to get this one started. And off we go from Nashville. This taken in about four yards deep. And no run back on this one. So the new season will begin at the 25. yard line Taken down, but able to slip across the 35. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. Well, there's plenty of real estate for him to maneuver on that run, and let's face it, it shouldn't be a surprise. He's one of the better backs in the league. Had to come into this game with the idea, slow him down. Otherwise, it's going to be a long afternoon. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Derrick Henry. And he's got it up over the 40 to the 41. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. And four at the 41-yard line. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. Henry. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. They did tell us they wanted to establish the ground game early, didn't they? They did, and a small sample size that we've seen so far, but pretty good return. Yeah, you gotta like that. They've strung together a couple of first downs, established what they wanted, the running game. And guess what? They also got their lead guy running it pretty well, too. So into Cardinal territory now. It's first and 10 at the 49-yard line. Henry. And that play goes nowhere. Taken down, losing yardage at the 50, right at midfield. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Second and 11 at the 50-yard line. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. No. 
second and 11 now. From the midfield strike, they'll look to throw. It's complete. This is Derek Henry. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Cardinals' 30. A good pick up there of 20 yards. Nice methodical opening drive here. They're already in the field goal range. They're in a good spot. You know that people like to take a shot in this part of the field. But at the same time, as methodical as they've been, they might want to run the ball a little bit here, too. And just on the outskirts of the red zone, they have options now. Either way, though, they've come out with a purpose. They'll look to throw here on first down. Henry's got it out on the left side. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. He's been a one-man wrecking crew these last couple of plays. This time, 18 more and a first down. First and 10 at the 12-yard line. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. And he'll get this underneath to Henry. And into the end zone for a Tennessee touchdown. A 12-yard touchdown grab. And the Titans take the ball down the field and score on their opening drive. And we'll see if this rain affects the team's decisions going forward. But they kick it here, and it's good. Seven. Cardinals nothing. Now after the touchdown, here's Rosas on to kick it away. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And this return will net positive as he gets past the 25 and up to the 27-yard line. At their own 27-yard line. And the Cardinals with a first and 10 at their own 27. Give him 10 yards on the pickup. And that'll make it second and a foot or so. Stephon Gilmore. 10 yards on the pickup. Here's Murray as he sets to throw it. He's going to find his running back. It's complete. And he'll go out near midfield at the 49. 12 yards there and a first down. We'll see what kind of mindset they have here offensively after giving up the touchdown on the opening drive. And based on our time with them, you know, prior to this game, I feel like they've got a good mindset going in. In fact, the discussion that we had with the coaching staff was, you know, we may give up some points in this game, so our offense has to be ready each and every time to either equal or try and get us ahead and try and keep us ahead. This is their chance to respond to that first touchdown given up. They give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. It's now second and six. A toss right to Geis. And he's got this down to the 35. 12 yards there and a first down. Coming in, he really liked his chance of having a big year based on a terrific offseason. And runs like that on opening weekend show that he's right. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Here's Geis. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. It's a pickup of 12. Second play in a row with a 12-yard gain. So back-to-back -back big runs, picking apart this defense on the opening drive. I thought this was a passing league. I thought this was the era we were in where the ball was always in the air, right? They didn't get the memo. They didn't get the memo, and I know this to be true. Offensive linemen still, to this day, 
They want to run the football. They want to fire out and hit people across the line of scrimmage, and they're clearing space. Now a handoff here to his running back. He's got the first down inside the 10, and he'll finally be taken down at the two-yard line. That's good for 21 yards and a first down. You got to give him the football again here. He gets the big run down to the two, pay it off. I like it. I like the call, but here's always the question. How many times do we see the big runs and the guy pats his helmet and says, take me out? Why would you go out when you've got a chance to get it again and score? First and goal and a chance to get that initial touchdown right back. ground guys and he will get into the end zone touchdown arizona taking it in from two yards out and the cardinals are just an extra point away from tying this game he had the option to hand that football off i think it's safe to say that he made the right decision that was a heck of a run it certainly was and when you mentioned the option most people think the quarterback's not going to keep the ball. You know, in the NFL, that's usually not the recipe for being around too long. So when you do keep it, it often surprises the heck out of a defense. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 here as the kick's away. And this carries into the end zone. And he'll get this just up past the 20, but a marker is down. Let's get the call. That holding call set him up with not great field position. Not at all when you tack on the penalty. But that field position after the return wasn't terrific. It's not a great starting field position as well. So the special teams penalty cost some yardage there as they come out on first and ten. This is Henry. And he'll take this one only up to about his 13-yard line. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. A three-yard pickup brings up second and seven at the 13-yard line. 7-7, seven, seven, our score after one. The score tied 7-7. Seven to seven. Here's a second and seven. The ball popped in the air and intercepted. Picked off at the 13. And they will score. It's a pick six for the Cardinals touchdown. Gonzalez lining up for the extra points. Ah, yes, the old tip drill works to perfection there. Ah, you're bringing back great memories. Used to love that drill. And a lot of times in practice, you work on it not just one tip, but multiple tips, just in case the ball stays in the air for a while, to have an awareness and the ability to go up and grab it. And then you want to get some blocking support and end up in the opposite end zone. In that tip drill, do you what do you yell? Uh, for, for, for us, it was Oski, okay? Oski different was an things for different teams. Different teams have different ways of doing it. I've heard bingo, jackpot. The worst I ever heard, though, was Frankenstein. You don't want it to be There's a too many syllables. syllables. Yeah. You, want, you want to get it right down and go. Oski is really the preferred word. Oski. Tennessee offense about set and ready to go. That 7 nothing lead of theirs is short-lived as they've now given up two straight touchdowns to fall behind by seven. Yeah, but no cause for discouragement here. Yeah, they've fallen behind, but haven't they proven that they can go down and score? Cool. So what was the formula to get them down there the first time? Get back to something close to that, and maybe they get this game tied up. A good pick up there, 21 yards. First and 10 at the 44-yard line.
Took just one play to move all the way to the 44 as they try again on first down. A first down carry for Henry. And he'll lose yardage here back at the 41. Call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. This defense is really flown around in the first half. They've gotten to the ball carrier before they can really get started. Offense got to come up with something else in order to try and get this running game going. Second and 13. The screen pass here to Cohen. And he'll be corralled out across midfield down to the 45. Give him 14 on that one and a first down. They ran that one well. And not only did they pick up a nice chunk of yardage on the screen, they sent a message to the defense. Rush the passer all you want, but you better be careful. We can hit you going back the other direction. So into Cardinal territory now. It's first and 10 at the 45-yard line. 54, right there, right there. 54, Mike. I'm here all day. 54 is Mike. 54 is Mike. Check, check. Watch 54. Watch 54. They'll look to throw. He's just going to dump this one off to his fullback out of the backfield. Not much there, only a yard. I wouldn't be surprised to see the next step in utilizing this position is to actually utilize more of a scat back in this spot because we saw the catch there, right? He made it. He's a bigger, stronger guy, maybe not quite as elusive as maybe someone else you would put there. Yeah, didn't get the big yardage there you might out of a smaller back. Second and nine now. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. Well, they've had success getting the ball to him out of the backfield, but this time they had a man right on him. He was able to break that play up before he could get started. to the 35 if they want to keep this drive going on third down. Again, he'll drop to throw. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. Has to be a little bit of frustration there. Back-to-back -back incompletions. Receivers blanketed on both attempts. This time on third down. On fourth down, here's Brett Kern to punt the football away. And a great job here. This is going to turn out to be a beauty. This is marked down at about the three-yard line. I absolutely love the flexibility of these punters. Their leg drive, able to get it way up in the air, and that allows their punt team to get down there and down it inside the 10 because they've had some time. Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. And they will start this drive with just terrible field position, backed up inside their own five. But we have seen teams be bold here and take shots, right? Sometimes you go max protection, make it a one-receiver route, and take your shot downfield and see what happens. And occasionally, we've seen success occur. A gain of three, second down. And that's frustrating for a defense because they've got them pinned down deep. And on the first play, they give up a run that keeps an offense on schedule. Yeah, because three to four yards, that's all you're looking for right there, right? That's absolutely perfect, really, as a play call. You get three to four yards on first down, that's what they talk about us all the time, about being ahead of the chains or on target, ahead of schedule. They were after that run. Geis with a carry on second down. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play. So now third down coming up. Off, 
as they run the counter play. And they'll get him down short of the first down, right on the 10-yard line. It's a gain of five, but it'll lead to a fourth down. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. 31 yards on the punt there. And the Titans are going to start this drive in great field position as they take over first and 10. Henry and they went the wrong way there losing yardage back at the 43 yard line they'll lose a yard there and it's second and 11 brings up second and 11 at the 43 yard line we've hit the two minute mark of the second quarter 14 to 7 We remind you that coming up in two minutes, we'll again head down to visit with Jonathan Coachman in Orlando back for another year. He'll have scores from around the NFL here on this opening weekend. Second and 11. That's complete to Disley, the tight end. That throw good for only a couple. It brings up third down. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion. They would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked up by Justin Evans. And his crew will take over with a football at the 35-yard line. Will take over. That's sort of a second quarter to forget for him. Now two picks in this frame. Almost as if the first one that he threw, he couldn't shake. Couldn't get it out of his head. He ends up doing a second one as a result. Compounds the mistake a little bit. Yeah, you got to be able to forget, compartmentalize, whatever you want to call it, and move on. He hasn't been able to do so here in the second. After the turnover, here's Murray. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. The broken tackle, but couldn't create much space. Down just beyond the 35. A good rally to the football. Keeps him to only a yard, and it's second down. At the 36-yard line. From the gun, Murray. And the Titan defense steps up here, and down he goes. Great job defensively. I think he was trying to go through his progressions, find someone to get rid of the football. Before he knew it, he was on his back. So that just brings us right back to what you said in the beginning. A great job defensively. Nowhere to go with the football. That led to the sack. Sack puts Murray in the cards in a tough spot. Third and long. And they'll get him down at about the 37, well short of the first. Now the Titans will use their third and final timeout as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. is the punter Johnston now as he sends this one away 37 yards on the punt with no return and it'll be Titan football 23 yard line
The Titans offense set to begin the drive. And what do you think goes on here in this situation? If you got the football, you're trailing, you're back in your own territory with just a little time to try something. You're thinking about jump-starting your team, right? You just mentioned it. They're down. They're trying to get back into the game. But you got to figure... If something goes wrong, you may have put yourself in a spot where you may not be able to come back in the second half. Managing risk is a big decision here. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. That one good for 33 and a first. First and 10 at the 42-yard line. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. Now this time he'll look to throw. Flushed out right. And that is incomplete. Stopping the clock with five seconds to go. So on second down, the field goal unit is on here as they try to get three before half. This will be spotted just shy of midfield. A 59-yard attempt. And that will wind up just short. He had it on line. It ran out of gas at the end. And this score will stay right where it is. And that's the risk of the long field goal miss here at this stage of the second quarter. You give up great field position. And that gives them one more opportunity to make something happen and something big. And we've seen crazy stuff happen at the end of halves. Ready to go with their next drive. And at the line, the Cardinal offense. And from this spot in the field with the clock where it's at, you think we're just going to see a knee and that's it? And I think in this situation, that's the proper play. The end of but we do know there's some risk takers out there that may want to take one more shot before the clock runs out. Okay, Coach, appreciate it. A one-touchdown game here as we get set to resume play in the second half. We'll see if week one fatigue becomes any kind of a factor as we are back underway in the second half. Now a crease here as he's past the 30. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape up past the 30. They're on 31 yard line. Murray and the Cardinals with a first and 10 at the 31 yard line. He fakes the give here and looks to throw. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. This has certainly been a physical game so far. Limited scoring opportunities for both sides. And there's another chance that goes unfulfilled. scrimmage the 31 as they line up second and 10 throwing again Murray and he'll be taken down but not before they work it across midfield that one a gain of 20 and a first down nice job there of utilizing his big target he didn't overthink it understands the catch radius understands that he knows how to use his body to keep defenders away from the ball and puts it right out there for the nice pickup. Murray 
Barkley now on first down. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. And that play will go nowhere. Losing yardage back near midfield at the 49. The completion, but they go in the wrong direction. A loss of yards, and now they're dealing with a second and long. Second and 12 after the first down pass play went backwards for two yards. They faked the handoff. Now Murray. He's going to rifle one deep left side. And he almost had it defensively. Could have been a game changer there in this second half. Instead, it's third down. Well, you got to think that sooner or later, they're going to hit one of those. But the coverage has been excellent thus far. And it was again on the last play. on that last play and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down now Murray again he's going to try and go deep again and that will be incomplete well, they weren't scared to let it fly but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down from a defensive perspective they had exactly what you want anytime they want to throw the football there was pressure on the quarterback they were getting after him and they tightened down on the receivers and forced the incompletion this will be fielded at the 17. 33 yards is the distance on the punt there. And that will come the offense as they take over. Tennessee offense about set and ready to go. Last time out, they had that long 50-plus yard field goal that they missed. And I'm sure on their sideline, they're thinking to themselves, okay, do we still want to try one if we're in that position again? And I would dare say that the answer would be yes. They're going to have a lot of confidence in their kicker. But just to be on the safe side, I'm sure they told their offensive guys, can we get a little bit closer yeah, this time? Closer. Yeah, well, you know, I'd rather get in the end zone first and foremost. But if all else fails, less of a field goal attempt for him. Second and two. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. Another attempt, another incompletion. And when I look at the scoreboard and where we are in this game, it comes to mind that they have to start getting the ball in the hands of their playmakers. Throw it to the guys that maybe can take a short pass and turn it into a long game or make people miss downfield. They've got to have points. And the guys who can put the ball in the end zone, they're the ones that need to touch the ball. And he went nowhere. He'll lose yardage back to the 29. The defense stiffens to force fourth down following that first down gain of eight. Here's Brett Kern now as he'll kick it away for the second time. Take it at the 37, and he'll be out of bounds up near the 45 at the 44. That'll go as a punt of 32 yards, and the Cards will take over first and 10. Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. And both of these defenses have been stifling these last few drives offensively, just not able to get anything going, so what needs to change? I think a lot of the guys will go back and review, so to speak, because everyone has someone assigned to how did each play work? Okay, what did, what did we use that kind of worked for us during this game? Try and get back to some of those plays, as well as the possibility of showing something you haven't shown already in this game and trying to change things up. We'll see if they take the advice of Mr. Davis. Well, on every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown, so a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game, trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now, hopefully get to the perimeter later, and let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. And he's up over midfield and down into Tennessee territory. Give him four on the carry, and it'll make this a third and about two. Third down. Shotgun now for Murray. And he's going to find his man out of the backfield. That's complete. 
Eight yards, first down as they're able to convert. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. So a decent gain, but all for naught on the penalty. It's too bad, isn't it? They were feeling pretty good about it. The only people celebrating, the guys who just gave up that play. So following the hold, they're in a bit of a hole here with a first and 20. Here's Murray from midfield. And incomplete on the deep ball. From the snap, he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but surprise, that guy was covered. So that took his attention elsewhere to no avail. the incompletion for second down. <laughs> Snap comes to Murray at one. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. That hold coming from the left side of the line. Hands got caught in the cookie jar on that one, and the flag came out. Penalty against him. They'll come up now on a second and long after the hold. Play clock down to two, and we get a signal and a timeout. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. Second down, here's Murray. And he's got him. Got his man on the end route. Complete. Complete. Fired that one in there, able to make connection on a nice in route. With those faster passes and they're going that fast, any hesitation as a quarterback that the deflection, if you miss, might be bigger and lead to an interception? Yeah, and the deflection works both ways. Maybe a defender gets a hand in the way and it pops in the air. And sometimes you throw it so hard your receiver can't handle it, and he pops it up in the air for the defenders to grab as well. But a moot point there is they were able to connect. And it looks like we've got a dime set here defensively. Six DBs in the game. Murray to air it out again. He's going to fire one deep over the middle. And unable to connect. Incomplete. Now give them credit. They took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. Similar to a shooter in basketball who just connected on the previous shot. They run another set for him on the next play. Now we had a guy who made the catch. They tried to get the big one downfield, but came up empty. And he fields it cleanly. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 30. 12 yards on the return that time. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. The 
The Titans offense set to begin the drive. And they're coming off a three and out, my friend. I think they've got to look at that play sheet and go to a spot that they haven't been before. Time to shake things up a little bit to try and get this offense moving. Okay, so how do you do that? How do you shake things up? You look at what you've called before, realize it hasn't worked <laughs> go to so something well, else. And maybe you try and find one of those special plays from one of your better players, and maybe try and hit something big and get things going in the excitement area. So they run with Henry on first down, but nothing much materializing as he'll get forward only for about a yard. No doubt about it. A really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there of holding the point of attack and not giving ground. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. They're going to look to throw. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. It's a first down on a gain of 10. When you run a screen pass really well, you got to like the look of it because so many parts come together to make it work well. The offensive linemen where they're faking people out, the back slipping out there, catching the football, then all of them going together as one unit downfield. A really nice pickup. On first down, Henry. And he was able to shed one tackle but could not get away from there. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. because they nearly got to him there, and it would have been the first sack of the game instead. They're able to influence the release, and they did force the incomplete pass. The Titans on third down, 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. This is third and seven. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. And this is going to be incomplete. You and I watched film yesterday, and you told me to watch his feet. For whatever reason, his footwork just looked off on that throw. And you always love it when an ex-defensive back talks quarterback mechanics, right? Well, but you're good at it. Well, I, I try, all right? I don't know how good I am, but it doesn't take much to tell. His mechanics are off a little bit, exactly what you described. Footwork, that led to the incompletion. One score down, here we go. They're gonna go for it here on fourth down. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. And he comes back with one complete. And he's taken down inside the 30. Fourth down, no problem. Just a ho-hum pickup of 14 to keep the offense on the field. Now we've got movement up front. I think this is gonna be on the Titans. Start backs him up five, first and 15. Hey, watch the slap. Watch the, slap. the play action fake. They'll look to throw. They'll buy some time right. He's going to fire one, corner of the end zone. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. He couldn't get the hook up there that time with Thomas, but it'll be second down. Switch up, switch up. 
They'll look to throw again. Dance into his left. Now he'll throw deep left side. That's going to be caught. And he will score. Touchdown, Titans. And that time, he came out of the slot for that big play downfield for the score. I think what we just saw there, partner, was what we call scheming a guy open. Put him in the slot. Know that he has tremendous speed. What you're doing with your other receivers is likely running shorter routes to draw the attention closer to the line of scrimmage to give him a chance to get downfield and turn it into a one-on-one -on -one route, often against the safety. You like your odds when he's running against the safety. His speed usually wins, and it did on that play. And he'll wind up getting a couple extra yards here for his trouble to bringing it out of the end zone as he's down at the 27. Ready to go with their next drive and at the line, the Cardinal offense. Well, they just gave up the score to tie it. That's the bad news. The good news, plenty of time in this fourth quarter to try to grab that lead back. Darius Geis. And able to stay on his feet past the 30 to about the 33-yard line. A six-yard pickup brings up second and four at the 33-yard line. Again, they run. Again, it's Geis. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. 16 yards, a first down. I tell you, they didn't give it to him much for the first three quarters, but when they have, he's been efficient. Maybe they ride him more here down the stretch. Yeah, not sure it was actually in the game plan for him to have as few carries as he has, but it might play out really well for them now. As you noted, they want to ride him down the stretch. He should have fresh legs. They run the counter now on first down. And he's going to be taken down with a marker on the field. So let's see about the call. So some holding over on the left side of that O-line. And I know for the guys trying to move those big defensive people, they'd love for them to stay in one spot. But they move around so quick and so fast that sometimes you just have to grab them. Second down. Brings up second and now Murray's going to set up the throw. His throw incomplete. I didn't like the look of that play right from the beginning. I thought he should have seen the coverage that was there. Tried to force it in. That one, he's fortunate, just fell incomplete. Cardinals on third down. Just one for five to this point. This is going to be third and 13. Play action. Now it's Murray. And that will be incomplete. Over the dime looked on defense. Two extra defensive backs on the field are covered up essentially every blade of grass. That allowed them to disrupt the play. Here's Cameron Johnston now as he's on for the fifth time here today. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. It'll be a 39-yard punt, no return. And the Titans will be backed up deep to begin the drive as they take over first and 10. Tennessee offense about set and ready to go. Excellent job by their defense to force the punt and provide them with this opportunity all tied in the fourth quarter. And able to get it across the 20 before they get to him. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards. Something to watch here in week one of the season, tackling. Because you and I both know that in the preseason, a lot of these guys don't play a whole lot. Plus the intensity and the speed really ratchets up on opening week. 
Just week one, but already plenty of intrigue with the games going on, and this one no different as we come up on a first and ten. A run with Henry on first down, but nowhere to go there as he can't even get back to the line of scrimmage. With his size, it often takes more than one guy to get him down, but if you can at least slow him up and the reinforcements arrive, you have a chance to get him on the ground, and that they did that time for a loss. They'll set up to throw. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. And partner to me, that one was all about timing. If he's there too early, it's going to be a pass interference call. If he's too late, it's a completed pass. He was Johnny on the spot on that one. Possibly a turning point. Big play coming. This is third and long. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. Henry's got it. Out on the left side. Well, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. They'll get 10 there, but it leaves him just short for fourth down. Tie game, fourth quarter, and they're going for this thing on fourth down. able to get it to the 33 good enough for a first down they only needed a few inches and they didn't get much more than that but by about the width of a shoelace they convert on fourth down three yard line some good games going on in the early window this might be the best of the bunch Henry will get it. He's been busy today. And he went nowhere. He'll lose yardage back to the 29. That's going to wind up a loss of a full three yards on first down. Back at the 29-yard line. Getting down to the good stuff. All tied with two minutes remaining on EA Sports. So the Titans in possession of the football here as we get your reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Looking to throw. He finds an opening past the 40. It's complete to Brown, right side. And he'll take it to the 43-yard line. Give him 14 on that one and a first down. Giving up a few first downs on this drive, but getting the incompletion there, that should give them something to build on and maybe turn the tide. So second down, still 10 yards to go. Ball on the 43. Check 
Now a nice throw here right side. He hauls it in. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Cardinals' 38-yard line. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. At the 38-yard line. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. They'll run with Henry. And that one blown up quickly as he's going to be stopped before he could even get started. The Titans going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock stops here with 46 seconds left to play. Now this has been a good march down the field, but now they're stuck looking at a second and 14. They'll drop the throw. Fire quickly here, and that's complete. And he'll be stopped at the 35, but not before he picks up seven yards. They're making steady progress, but I see your face. You're worried about that clock. I'm worried about the clock, and at some point, you have to have a splash play in there as well. So third down, they need to get to the 28 for a first. So now with six seconds remaining, we get a timeout on the field. And right now it all rests on the right foot of Aldrich Rosas. So now with six seconds remaining, we get a timeout on the field. And right now it all rests on the right foot of Aldrich Rosas. This will be from 53 for the win. this one that is no good well outside the left upright and a costly one there as this game remains tied here in the fourth now if this was a clear day in september i'd say this is well within his range i'd feel very confident about this kick but let's be honest about it in these elements the difficulty level gets ratcheted up by at least a factor of five and now we'll get a timeout here they're able to stop it with one second to go in this game Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. They'd like to avoid overtime here, so maybe they can work the sidelines, but then defensively, how do they adjust to that if they do work the sideline? It's the old leverage game, and we usually talk about leverage at the line of scrimmage, right? Who's going to win with the low blocking and everything that goes along with that? But in this case, you're trying as a defender to leverage them towards the middle of the field, not let them get to the sidelines and try and tackle them in bounds in order to run the clock out chess match here late it's a little teaching moment here overtime rules remind us how this goes partner okay so in the past we had sudden death first team to score wins but no longer now if the team receives the ball scores a touchdown they win the game if they kick a field goal though or don't score the other team gets a possession and after both teams get a possession then we're into sudden death first team to score wins the game at their own 19-yard line. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. They control their own destiny here. They have the football in overtime. Obviously, a touchdown would win it. 
and I think teams around the league are still adjusting to the idea of going downfield, scoring a touchdown, wins the game, because they were used to just going downfield and trying to get in field goal range to win a game. Still having to make that transition, let's face it now, the ones who are doing it best know they need to go down, attack, put the ball in the end zone, and not leave it up to a field goal and give the other team a chance. Yeah, as we said, they control their own destiny now. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. Get off, get off. Hey, check Mike 39. Check Mike 39. You, you, you. You, you, you. Jump, 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 jump. Kim, 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 Kim. Now a first throw here in overtime. Finding Sterling Shepard for his first catch. From six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. It's a gain of six. Brings up third and five. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. That's complete left side to Shepard. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. So he hooked up with a veteran there, and in overtime, that's not a bad idea. Go with the age and the experience. Yeah, because sometimes the young guys, they give you the fresh legs and give you all that bounce. But in this type of a situation, sometimes those legs slow down a little bit as the enormity of the moment overwhelms them. The veteran guys, they tend to come through. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. shake free there and they'll cover him for a loss of a yard at the 30 yard line pressure comes and the Cardinals bring him down probably thinking they got to be careful not to force anything here in overtime this is third and a mile right now it's on the play it's now third down. No sweep. Kill it. Motion me out. Eluding the pressure right. On the run. He'll let this go deep right. So well, this is taken in. It's complete. And he will have a Titans first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. So that changes things a bit. Here's a first and 10 all the way down at the 35. A toss left, Henry. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Late tackle there by Leighton Vander Esch. Nice job there defensively to clamp down because really they've been on their heels this drive. Agreed, and they really needed that one for confidence, just to feel a little bit better. But I don't know if I would be daunted by them stopping me on one run. This drive has gone pretty well. I could come right back at them. Coming up. Well, they certainly had success throwing the ball on this drive, and not as much running it as we just saw once again on that last play, stopped after a very short game. But I wouldn't abandon the run totally because otherwise, pass rushers just tee off on your quarterback, makes it very, very difficult for him in that situation. Oh, 
Mess around and put that thing up where you burn it. Six figures every year, yeah, I earn that. Cut the front of this line is where my turn at. Sometimes you need a friend, not the one that just show up and don't put nothing in. Third and eight situation. A tough spot here in overtime on the opening drive. They'll look to throw here. The screen pass here to Cohen. And he went nowhere. Well, he went backwards. Back to the 33. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout. That's their second and last timeout here in the overtime session. We'll be back. 50-yard attempt. Kick is good. Oh, he just did tuck it into the bottom of that left corner. And the Titans hit the scoreboard first. It's three to nothing. They're able to put three on the board here on the opening drive of OT. And now up to their defense to try and see if they can hold this one. I like how you framed it up because obviously this game is not over, right? They go down and kick a field goal. Then we head to sudden death. But if the defense can hold, take the ball away, turn it over on downs, this game's over. Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. The field goal would push it to sudden death. We just saw the field goal on the other end, but I don't think they are thinking field goal. At least not to start this drive, they're not thinking field goal. Not at all, because your point is well taken. Yeah, kick the field goal, you push it to sudden death, but you're also kicking off and giving the other team the ball with a chance to kick a field goal and beat you. Get the touchdown, finish the game off. That has to be the mindset. Oh, if he holds on, it's game over. Instead, second down. And 10 at the 25 yard line. called by the Titans. They'll be left with just one remaining here at OT. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. To throw again, Murray. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Andy Isabella was the intended target, but now it's third down. Well, so far on this drive, they've done some good work. They force incompletions on first and second down, bring up third and ten. That brings up the big question. Do they bring pressure, or do they play coverage on this down? So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has them staring at a third and ten. From the gun, Murray. Oh, it's intercepted. That'll seal it. Picked by Kevin Byard. So we will see yet another drive in this overtime. For whatever reason, neither team able to finish this game off.